Esmeralda Strange and I do the music for the life-size board game of Mousetrap. I'm a one-woman band. I play accordion and drums and sing all at the same time. And I also help with the setup and the teardown of the Mousetrap. And I just wrote a CD for the show called How to Defy Gravity with Six Simple Machines. And it has songs about the six simple machines, friction, gravity, scientific inquiry, and some other stuff for the kids. Uh, for you, kids, for all the kids that like the board game mouse trap and the life size mouse trap and being really, really, really silly. And uh, you can rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time if you want, and then maybe you'll get an idea how hard it is to play the accordion and drums and sing all at the same time. That is, I, I Thanks! Watching, <laughs> I, I was watching that, how you're doing all three things at the same time. I mean, I, do, do you have a, uh, a, a, a long uh, musical background that, that you're able to, to handle all those at the same time? You know, actually, no. The funny thing is, too, is that I learned how to do them all together. So now I'm going back and learning how to play accordion separately. Because, like, I'm a one-trick pony with a really good trick right now. How did you uh, come to become involved with the Mousetrap? The mouse um, I played Mark Perez, who created the Mousetrap, did a, an artist haunted barn every year, and I used to perform at that. And um, I was just had my one woman band in my room, and Mark's, I ran into him walking down the street, and I'd been four tracking some music, and he said, come play a benefit for the Life Size Mousetrap. And, I said, okay, and I saw the mouse trap at the benefit and said, who's doing the music for your show? And he said, I don't know, I guess you are. And uh, so it's been eight years, and that's how it started. So you guys travel all around? We do, yes, we've been to Burning Man, we've been to Austin, Texas, Detroit, New York City, we're going to Florida this fall as well. Um, so we have a 53 foot trailer that the mouse trap fits in and a 40-foot bus that seven of us live in together like sailors in a submarine here oh there was one show there's okay it's, it's a debate because mark will say well we had a successful chain reaction so and he'll count how many full successful ones there are and i think they're all successes um because even if something doesn't work you still learn and it's kind of fun, it builds suspense when things don't work. And come on, realistically, nobody got the board game to work. So, and everyone when watching The Mousetrap should remember that, but there was one show in San Mateo where every single trigger failed. And that, that was a pretty epic show, um, our first test run. But we worked it out, and by the end of the event, um, full, chain reaction.